Sagubona. Good afternoon and welcome to all of our viewers. Thank you for joining us today in San Marino, California at Southwestern Academy, where we are celebrating the American and Caribbean tradition of the African diaspora. We have a great program for you with art, poetry, and hope uh, in the face of a struggle and conflict, live songs, and storytelling, uh, followed by a delicious menu for dinner. Let's begin the show with Kurt Franklin and the and his choir redemption of the Black National Anthem by J. Rosamond Johnson and James Weldon Johnson. Lift every every voice and sing. Although civil unrest has indelibly marked our life, especially during this past year of pandemic, there have been great moments of hope as well. In 2014, after the killing of Michael Brown, civil unrest had turned to the city of Ferguson, Missouri. Mr. Cohn, our art department chair and a native Missourian, was home for the summer and was able to capture signs of healing in the wake of all of the turmoil. Please watch. Michael Brown and the officer who shot and killed him, Darren Wilson. Everyone wants to know why Wilson fired so many shots. No, there was a glimpse of peaceful no, protest, but it wasn't long before everything changed. Police said they wouldn't fire tear gas, but as the night progressed, that's just what they did. You need to exit the street immediately and stop throwing objects at law enforcement. There's a line of police just on the other side watching this. They're all in riot gear. Demonstrators were on the streets defying a curfew, calling not only for justice, but an end to police heavy handedness. Hello, this is Mr. Pone reporting for Sunspot News from Ferguson, Missouri. I'm here with my brother Tom. Um, we wanted to uh, come on down and see what's going on. It's very peaceful in Ferguson today after the rioting.
art indeed has the power to connect and to restore. Even if it's an ugly uh, grotesque mask, like this one in the top left, which is related with uh, this flag here at the top right, because they have the same colors, uh, which means that they are from the same tribe from Avon and Coast. Um, we have a lot of our students that create this mask during the last couple of days. And if you want to check it out, we have a lot of interesting uh, links and videos that we will show you in the next few minutes. And uh, finally, uh, I created this mask with my tribe for a long time ago. And like my tribe used to say, Hakuna Matata, which means no worry. So uh, if you want to go and check it out, we will show you some videos. And a fun fact is that in 1991, uh, there was a tribe which didn't have a lot of people uh, but because of these problems of economic and everything, but now with this, uh, uh, with this situation now, they have increasing for more than 7,100, so... Bakete initiation mask, Congo. The masks of the Bakete often display a small geometrical pattern, such as appears on the jaw of this one. The vertical lines on this mask are like those on the face of the mandrill though the horns and the coloring are obviously not like that monkey. Don, ceremonial mask, Northwest Ivory Coast. The Don are a large tribal group with a population of about 150,000 in 1991. They are famous for their art. Their masks, which often represent ancient ancestors, are known for their class simplicity and their faithfulness to human features. The small brass bells are attached for dancing, and the dancers also wear grotesque costumes. Let me share three important things with you. I have learned that people will forget what you said. People will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. These are the words of Maja Angelou, American poet, memoirist and civil rights activist. Here are more of the, her words, Cage Bird, as read by our admissions officer, Mr. Paolo Woodard. Hello everybody, I'm Mr. Woodard in admissions. I hope you guys are enjoying the dinner. I'm going to be reading a poem by Maya Angelou entitled Cage Bird. Hope you guys enjoy. A free bird leaps on the back of the wind and floats downstream till the current ends and dips his wing in the orange sun rays and dares to claim the sky. But a bird that stalks down his narrow cage can seldom see his cage. His wings are clipped and his feet are tied so he opens his throat to sing. The cage bird sings with a fearful trill of things unknown but longed for still and his tune is heard on the distant hill for the cage bird sings of freedom. The free bird thinks of another breeze and the trade wind soft through the sighing trees and the fat worms raiding on a dawn bright lawn and he names the sky his own. But a cage bird stands on the grave of dreams, his shadow shouts on a nightmare scream. His wings are clipped and his feet are tied. So he opens his throat to sing. The cage bird sings with a fearful trill of things unknown but longed for still, and his tune is heard on the distant hill, for the cage bird sings of freedom. Thank you. Everyone knows of the Reverend Dr. Martha Luther King Jr., but how many have you learned of John Lewis? Tonight, we pay tribute to a man who marched and stomped along Dr. King, and who made many contributions in the fight for equal rights. This book, March, book one, was written ages ago and commemorates Lewis' lifelong fight of civil rights. Here's a video with some excerpts from the book, March.
thought about Troy State just a few miles from my parents' home where no black student was allowed. So I applied as a transfer student. One month passed, then another, I never heard back. Finally, I decided to introduce myself to the only person who I thought could understand what I was trying to do. Over the next several weeks, I exchanged a series of letters and phone calls with Rev. Ralph Abener and a lawyer named Fred Gray. Everyone knew Fred Gray. He represented Rosa Parks and now Dr. King's attorney. Finally, Gray and Abatharthney wrote to tell me that Dr. King wanted to meet me. On Saturday morning in the spring of 1958, my father drove me to the Greyhound bus station again. Neither of us said a word. I boarded a bus and traveled the 50 miles from Troy to Montgomery. I've never seen a lawyer before, black or white. And I presume you're John Lewis? Yes, sir, Attorney Gray. We're going to have to drive over to the church. I'm in. So, are you the boy from Troy? Are you John Lewis? I just want to meet the boy from Troy. I was so scared. Who is this young man who wants to desegregate Troy State? I didn't know what to do or say. Dr. King, I am John Robert Lewis. I said my whole name. Do you, do you really want to go to Troy State? Yes, Dr. King, I want to go to Troy State. They question me about everything. Well, you know. Where I was from, how I was raised, if I knew what I would really face. To attend Troy State, we'll have to sue the state of Alabama and the Board of Education. You're not old enough to file a suit. You'll have to get your parents okay. They're gonna have to sign. But if you want to go, we'll help. We'll raise the money to file those suits and we'll support you all the way. But you must keep in mind, your parents could lose their jobs. Your family home could be bombed or burned. You may get hurt or your family may get hurt. I don't know what will happen. You need to go back to Troy and talk it over with your family. My father didn't say a word to me on the ride back from the bus station either. But the next morning, they sat me down for questioning, asking me what had happened the previous day. I told them. At first, they wanted to be supportive, but they were afraid, not just for themselves, but for those around us, our friends and neighbors. They said they didn't want anything to do with filing a suit against the state of Alabama. Nothing, not one thing. I was heartbroken, but it was their decision. I wrote Dr. King a letter explaining that I would be returning to Nashville in the fall. Looking back, it must have been the spirit of history taking hold of my life. Because in Nashville, I'd meet people who'd open my eyes to sense of values that would forever dominate my normal philosophy. The way of peace, the way of love, the way of nonviolence. Come in. Which means to my good friend from the Afro -Afri African Caribbean diaspora in Jamaica, Bob Marley's sang of freedom, revolution, and unity. This is one of Marley's iconic tunes sung by our senior and one of my greatest friends, Nick Lou. After they took up from the bottomless pit, but my hand was made strong by the hands of the Almighty. We flowered in this generation triumphantly. Won't you help to sing? songs of freedom cause all I ever had redemption songs redemption 
emotions Emancipate yourselves from mental slavery None but ourselves can free our minds Have no fear for atomic energy Cause none of them can stop the time How long shall they kill our prophets While we stand aside and lose Some say it's just a part of it We've got to fulfill the book. Won't you know to sing these songs of freedom? Is all I ever heard. Redemption songs. Redemption songs. Redemption songs. Emancipate yourself from mental slavery None but ourselves can free our minds Have no fear for atomic energy Cause none of them can stop the time How long shall they kill our prophets While we stand aside and look Who us say it's just a part of it we got to fulfill the book Won't you come to sing The these songs of freedom Is all I ever had Redemption songs All I ever had Redemption songs Songs of freedom Songs of freedom the Storytelling is a tradition elevated to an art form, including our, sh our show with a, uh, another musical and radical performance by a German group by way of Altadena, California. Uh, we will send you the, uh, the video later of our performance because uh, Leslie, uh, they have an accident, but we hope he's doing okay. And now uh, we're going to go to the next, uh, how do you call it, uh, for our next and final uh, thing of the night, which is our menu. And I hope you enjoy, enjoy your morning, afternoon, or evening. And most important of all, be safe. Thank you for joining us and we hope to see you soon. And as our tribe used to say, Changare Sangare Wa Uchi Kagara, which is thank you all and have a good night.